Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today we have the True Tales of Blood Street 13. As far as I'm tracking, this is supposed to be a social puzzle game, they said, I think. Yes, I do want to start a new game. My first game. Alter Ego Games Presents Typewriters. Uh oh. Hot twist. They're gonna say. Ah! Oh. Blood, uh. Some red blood, uh. Must. Fight. Fight what? Stay awake. Oh, I'm trying to stay awake. Okay. Tap. Call. I'm oh, we're doing I'm it. Fighting. Yeah, we're Help! Up. Help! On my desk, there's a file I can't get out of my mind. Uh, this looks like cyber awareness. It's not long ago. Let me talk you through the facts. Okay. Maybe this time I can figure out what happened. Okay. What was said? To whom? And where? Okay. And how the bodies ended up where they were found. It all takes place in a brothel. Located brothel. in Amsterdam at Blood Street 13. This place has a rich history, and a grisly one at that. Hmm. A whole convent of monks murdered hundreds of years ago, and the building razed. Mm -hmm. Now it houses apartments where prostitutes live. Okay. There's a lot about this case I can't put together. <sighs> Let's review the evidence. Okay. From the top. Bill. Let's see. Ah, the man who calls himself Bill. Not much is known of this individual. He was a known drug dealer. Prior to the incidents, we know he had dealings with one of his contacts in a nearby cafe. We know he was reported for sexual harassment and other incidents around his drugs dealing career. Looks like a dangerous fella. Okay. <laughs> Go. Maybe we need to look at the case of Bill again. What does the evidence tell us? Are we missing something? I don't know. Let's begin our investigation. It all starts when Bill sees Veronic on the streets. Well, look at that. That's the little bitch's sister. She knows my face and that cat will report me immediately to the police if I don't do anything. Oh my god, it's language. After that incident with her sister, everything went mad. Police or not, it's time to end this, once and for all. Oh. Witnesses describe him hmm. shouting violently as he pursued her to the apartment complex of Blood Street 13. The evidence indicates the struggle that led him into the house, through the hole. To Linda's personal chambers. What? The struggle continued when suddenly all lights went out. No! Wait! Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, I'm playing now. What? Am I Bill? What happened to the light? What the fuck is going on here? What is this place? Jesus, Bill. The only thing they could hear was a sound outside of the door. Heavy chains of the lock blocked the door to the outside. Shadows haunted the windows. Did someone just lock us in? Linda found a candle to lit the pitch dark room. Bill rushed to the door to find the door completely locked. What do you mean it's locked? I'm getting the hell out of here. What in the name of God are you doing in my house anyway? <laughs> Why don't you ask her? She brought us here. I just wanted to talk to her. She doesn't want to say anything after what you did to her. Ah, I don't have time for this. Is there another exit? There are no more exits than that door. There's eight windows. What else could there be in this building anyway? Only the landlord and a prostitute. He has a key. Maybe we can wait till the landlord finds us? Hell no. Maybe he's the one who locked <laughs> us no. in. There has to be a way out of here. Perhaps upstairs. Perhaps the windows. Upstairs there's only a laundry room. Nothing more. Well, look who's being helpful. I'll try to find an exit myself. Where's the laundry room? I can't move. Oh. I'm gonna grab this broom. If you give me my broom, I'll get the ladder down. I'll do it my damn self, thank you very much. What am I doing? 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> Although there were no signs of struggle in the room, we are quite sure this is where it happened. That window's even open. Through the window I can see a ledge. If we can get across, there's bound to be another open window we can enter. Surely not all doors can be locked. Isn't that dangerous? Probably, but if you are scared, I'll go. Um. Oh boy. What am I supposed to be doing here? No. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> How Linda overpowered Bill, we do not know, but we trust that what happened surely happened in self-defense. Poor girl. My bad. Let's review the evidence. From oh! Ah, interesting. My bad, Bill. Let's see. Ah, the man who calls himself... Ah, yes, the case of Ferronic. Ah, yes, the case of Ferronic. <laughs> poor woman. After having talked with the parents, good, decent Christian folks, we have come to the conclusion that the purpose on Blood Street 13 was to visit Linda, a friend of her sister. She, however, did not expect an encounter with an old acquaintance. Although what happened that night could not possibly have been expected by anyone. Bill's dead, so... Ah, <laughs> yes. Veronic. Veronic. Let's review once more what happened. What a weird name. Maybe there was something we misinterpreted. Ugh. Well, this Veronica game does much. Oh. When she came eye to eye with Bill. Bill. That much we know. Is that Bill? No, it can't be. Good Lord, protect me. He must have followed me here. He went after my sister first, and I'm next. I have to get out of here. She ran as fast as her high heels could carry her, and Bill went after her. <laughs> Witnesses describe him shouting violently as he pursued her to the apartment complex of Blood Street 13. The evidence indicates a struggle as they entered the house that carried them through the hall to Linda's personal chambers. As the struggle continued, the lights suddenly died out. Oh, we gotta watch this again. Uh, please don't! The lights! Hit the blue. I can't breathe. Oh, she's having a heart attack. That's got a lot of cool mini games in this. I like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jeez. My, my smelling salts. They'll keep me from fainting. Oh, that's better. <laughs> well, okay. Interesting. Ulysses has Grant. Interesting. Drop it. Good job. We've talked enough about this. If someone locked the door. I'm not waiting to see what else he has in mind. Okay. Landlord or no landlord, I'm going up. Then I'm going with you. Ah, fine. But you stay here to watch the door. Why? We found the ladder had been let down with a broom. Am I going to see Bill die again? This is when Bill and Linda made their fateful trip upstairs. <laughs> I can see a ledge. If we can get across, there's bound to be another open window we can enter. Surely not all doors are locked. <laughs> Isn't that That's kind of cool. I like this. Probably. But if you are scared, I'll go. See ya, Bill. Ah! <laughs> Linda overpowered Bill, we do not know, but we trust that what happened surely happened in self-defense. Oh, they think uh, Linda pushed him out. Was that a person? He... He's dead. Huh. I heard someone else. M maybe they can get help. That's funny. <laughs> uh. 
Notice, I know you don't like me minding your business, but there have been some troubles with the prostitutes down the street. As you might have heard, some of them have come down with the itches. Would you please tell the women here as a nurse that if they experience any itch or other symptoms of the venereal diseases to please come see me, come see you. Also, please tell them that they are within their rights to refuse a customer with scar scabies and should. I will not force the girls to accept them and as some procure do. Let's let this also be a reminder for them not to share their towels or underclothing and to wash before and after their customers. I have provided a lot of rubbers and assist the girls use them, even if the customers assist insist to without them. Let the girls say no. We cannot have them pregnant or sick and all of that. If anything happens, they should come to me, Albert. Nice. That's, he seems like an okay dude for making them prostitute. I can't go out there. Oh, the door's open again. Nice. It must have been with nothing less than sheer force that Hannah, a well-loved prostitute of the local building, opened the door to Linda's chamber. Okay. My gods, are you alright? Who was that man? Some stranger came barging in. He was after Veronica here. It seemed like he was trying to hurt her. He... I knew him. I mean, not knew him, but he knew my sister. He... he was a bad man. What on earth was he doing on the ledge? We were locked in. There was nowhere to go. He was trying to get us out. And how did you get locked in? You tell me. We heard someone out there. Maybe the landlord finally went loco? Hmm. I went to his office. He's been gone for quite a while. Something definitely is not right. We have to find some answers. I'll go and check the exits. Hmm. This left the two women alone in the room. Veronica clearly was can't move my camera and tried to leave the room. Hey, wait up, hon. You don't look so well. Are you okay? No, oh, I'm a crackhead. Well, me and Bill have a history. My name is Veronica, by the way. Whatever happened between you two, it happened. You have to try and let it go. Although she was clearly in panic, Anna must not have reached out to her the right way that particular moment. Moments later, Veronica took shelter in the chapel, where huh. she prayed for a rest of mind, too afraid to leave or talk to anyone. Let's review the evidence. Weird. From the top. This kind of reminds me of the Oberdin. Is that she was a woman who worked at this brothel. Oberdin was fun. Mother of two good. kids, no education. Having lost her husband years ago, she chose to go into prostitution to provide for her and her own. Now, if all the evidence checks out, the story starts witnessing the first victim thrown from the first floor. Let's review Hannah's evidence. I like how one story. One more. Time. Goes to other stories. That's cool. Ah! <laughs> my God, did someone just jump from the first floor? I need to check on my girls now. Why do they all have the same candle? Let's make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Can you play the radio? There we go. For everyone. Is there a volume on this sucker? Has barricaded the world with hate. Has goose stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have I can barely hear it. It doesn't matter. Just make sure I'm not missing anything before I go over there. The life of Hannah. Dear diary, customers were all right today. Less eventful than yesterday. Did have did not have to kick anyone out today. The landlord said he might be willing to invest in a bouncer if ever. That man is more parsimonious than a monk. Had another visit from Miss from P today. He keeps returning. I wonder what his wife and kids thinks about he's spending all his money on. It should not concern me. But I know she is home with her two kids, and that's when guilt finds me. Sometimes I hate this life, but I know I've chosen it. 
for nowhere else would I find the money to support me by two angels, but that does not always make it easy. Today, a customer commented that I was getting old. Can you believe that? He probably did not even realize that he could hurt me with such a violent comment. But what hurts m me even more is that he could be right. I am 36. How long have I left before the customers turn to the other younger girls? At least I will always have P coming by. No, no jokes. Who will care for Richard and Kevin when I am old and ugly? Perhaps I'll marry one of the Johns, a fine Richmond. Jesus. Radio's going ham. <laughs> a knight to save this old princess out of their prison tower. Cannot an old hooker permit herself some hopes and dreams? And now I have cheered up. Silly me, it is a dreadful day. Even the cigarettes keep give me no solace. The rain will not stop. There is a leak in the chapel and since this... Shut up, radio. Since this morning, the landlord is nowhere to be seen. At least Linda came by to today to check up on me, sweet child. The bruises I had are healing well. They were worth it though. No customer has the right to hit a girl. I will not tolerate it. I am glad I was there to help. We actually ended up talking a long time about abusive men with tempers. To hell with them is what I say. We girls should stand up for each other and show them where we draw the line. That's it for the day, dears. Let's hope tomorrow is a better day. Goodbye, diary. Anna seems like a good person. That dang. That radio. Sh shut up. You're not saying anything important. God. Whew. First I wanted to turn you up, but then I just realized there was jibber jabber. It's down here. Oh, another one. My dearest Bill, it has taken me a long time to find the courage to write it to you again. But it has been two days since I last heard of you. I have had trouble interpreting the words and feelings you outed to me the last time we talked. Know that I miss you, and that I think I understand what you meant when you said you want to be left alone. I too sometimes need a little time for myself, and I can hardly blame you for wishing it for yourself. Now that you have had your time, now know that there is no more need for us to be apart. My friend Linda told me she saw you yesterday. Not anymore. Surely that cannot have been to visit the lady she works with. We both know that there is no need. My love for you is internal, eternal. And I know you should, would not shame me that way. My time with you gives me gives my excitement, heart excitement, and delights my day. When you are near, I strengthen and feel more alive. You have given me joy. I want to give you all my heart and have yours in return. Please write back. Yours, Marianne. Alright, there's another one. Wow, it's a newspaper. Oh, fuck. I can't read all this. Is that Jack Dempsey? Hmm. Boxer Jack Dempsey, it looks like. Later, Jack Dempsey. Radio music via the power grid. From our correspondence, on 20, October 1931, we are delighted to bring you the news about the test runs by the English engineer, Captain Eckersley. That wants to use the main power grids for a new kind of radio distribution. His plans would be, or so we hear, to cook up the radio stations and transmitters directly into the so we hear. Into I can't read. Into the power grid. Each city would need to have its own transmitters, enabling them to link the telephone lines together. This way, transmissions of a certain country or district can still be uniform. With the purchase of a simple device, every household would be able to not only tap power for his vacuum cleaner or iron, but also tap transmissions from all sorts of programs. The advantage of such a system is that one no longer needs to concern themselves with wavelength broadcasts and the likes. And with the power grid already having been implemented, a separate network for radio distribution will not have to be built. In England, there have been several successful trials and be expectations for, uh, are that they soon be implemented here in the Netherlands. Okay. It's over y'all. That's it. All the doors are locked. That's where I came from. It's another newspaper. Ooh, this is a lot of reading. Okay. What will be a new war? I just picked it up. God. Wait a second. How do I? Oh, it's gone. My bad, guys. I'll never know what that said. Unless there's a way to check. 
I don't know. Oh, this is a chapel that lady went to when she shut down. The Holy Bible! Okay. Haunted Landlord. Mm. To Burgess Reindeer, Reinders, Randers. Dear brother, I hope this letter finds you in good health and your business is in a prosperous position. I cannot say that I do not envy you, dear brother. Running our father's pawn shop must surely be more gratifying than being stuck in this whorehouse. I wish not to complain overly, but at times I surmise this house is haunted with squeaky floors, rat infested cellars, and the noises made by customers and the girls. There is always something that keeps you on edge. Just last week, we wanted to replace the floorings of the small cellars. Instead, we discovered a gravestone. There's an actual grave in the cellar under the broom closet. Can you believe it? And now these faceless bureaucrats of the township will not allow me to remove it. Not yet. Not just yet. They want some archaeologists to investigate it. And as a vultures to carry in, I had one sniffing around the building just yesterday, saying he wanted to inspect the building and its history. I bloody live there. I have a respectable business to run. What do they expect of me? I tell you one of these days I will see me losing my temper. The historian's named Daniel and he will always be there sh be here shortly so I must be brief. I hope your customers give you no such grieving. Give my love to Henrietta. I hope to visit you and your family soon with kind regard. Oh, he's dead. Nice. What's that? Is that a key? No, it looks like a pen. That's a pen. He dropped his pen. He must have died. He's dead. Oh, thank God, another newspaper to read. Mr. Digger is a shiffle. Mr. Digger is a shiffle. Amsterdam 1, August 1931. Yesterday, shiffle was... Visited by Mr. Dre, Dr. Oh, Mr. Tagir, I was going to say Dr. Dre, Minister of Finance. After shaking hands with Albert Plessman, director of KLM, he was given a tour of the premises. Since its founding as a military airstrip, one on the reclaimed lake of Harlem. In the 1916, Schiffel has grown into an airport of international renown. During the minister's visit, he was shown to the brand new restaurant where live music entertains the guests as they want wait for the planes to land. But the height of the tour when he was shown the brand new prize of the Schiffel, the Fokker 9, a three engineered passenger airliner for KLM, not only has the marvel of engineering. Ah, these, I'm not reading these newspapers anymore, I don't think. That's a waste of. I don't know why I would need to know that. It's a nice little add to the game, but God. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's just music. You can play. I'm not listening to this dude yell at me for like a year though. That's not gonna happen. I haven't been in here yet. What was that, a monkey wrench? Oh, it's bolt cutters, the master key! A bolt cutter. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. I have the master key. There's no way I lose this game now. Oh. Somebody bolted them in there, it looks like. Another newspaper? We're gonna choose whether we read this or not. Bones of holy monks found beneath house of ill repute. Oh, I didn't read it anyways. Ha ha! I should I should read those when I get a chance. Number two and number four is the one I didn't read. What's up? What happened? Who was that man? Did he touch you? Did he hurt you? What on earth was he doing on that ledge? We were locked in. There was nowhere to go. He was trying to get us out. H how did you get locked in? You tell me. We heard someone out there. Maybe the landlord finally lost his marbles? I don't know. Maybe we can find him and get some answers. Something definitely isn't right here. I'll go check on the exits. This left the two women alone in the room. Veronica clearly wasn't comfortable and tried to leave the room. Wait up, hon. You don't look so well. Are you okay? Well, me and Beale have a history. Oh, and my name is Veronique, by the way.
My name is Hannah. What happened between you two? I should hit her with the deal with it, but I don't want her to kill herself. Sister, which didn't go well. She took the wrong path in life, and so she met Bill. We had a great relationship, and I can't stand what happened to her. I can't forgive Bill. But what would you know? I know exactly how you feel. I've seen enough misery around here. I just choose not to close my eyes to it. Instead, I'm trying to help, just as I'm trying to help you now. What do you mean, seeing misery around you? Yeah, that's you a good sell person. pleasure. Shut up. I come from two different worlds. You don't know my pain. You need to stop looking down on people. Do you think I enjoy this life? I'm 36. I have two children that I need to take care of. You don't have to accept me. Yeah, you scumbag. I know I know None. You feel. I only want to help. Oh, I I didn't know. I'm You're sorry. right. You didn't know. That's okay, hon. Everyone experiences something different. The one worse than the other. We're here to help each other. Get each other back on track again. Mm. It seems we're in a tight spot, and us girls gotta stick together. Trust one another. Thank you. A lot. All the exits are blocked, but when I came through, I heard someone calling for help. I think it came out of the closet, but I can't get these crates out of the way. Come help me push! Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not strong enough. Maybe we just have to wait until we get rescued. Surely someone will come looking for us. Maybe you need to get some gains. Although I keep returning to this theory. The evidence is lacking. It feels like I keep ending up with the wrong characters in the wrong places. Let's review once more the evidence we have. From the top. What the heck? Let's review the evidence. From the top. Why is this going All green? we know about Hannah is that she was a woman who worked at this brothel. Ah, yes, the case of Pharaonic. Poor. Woman. Ah, I'm gonna play the green Don't one again. Know. Let's review Hannah's evidence one more. I just want to see why it's green. If it starts me from the, I think that means I did it right. If it's green. Ah! Yeah. Okay. Okay. I need to get out here. So hers is great. I did hers right. Let's, let's, ah, yes. I want to do let's his again, but he's dead. Ah, the man. I can't do hers. I can't do hers. I can do ah, hers. Yes. Ah, yes. Ironic. Let's review once more what happened. Maybe there was something we misinterpreted. Veronica was on the street when she came. I. Is that? She ran as far. Please don't! The lights! My heart's pounding. Dear Lord, protect me. I can't Get off breathe. me. How are you supposed to do this? They're so random. And they move so quick. I don't understand. My, my smelling salts. They'll keep me from fainting. Oh, All right. that's better. So I didn't do everything right for her or something. We've talked enough about this. If someone locked the door, I skip. I'm no. not waiting to see what else he has in mind. Landlord oh, or no landlord, I'm going up. Then I'm going with you. Ah, fine. But you. Stay here to watch the door. I'm gonna tell the, the other girl to go. Down with a broom. This is when Bill and Linda made their fateful trip upstairs. I can see a ledge. If we can get across, there's bound to be another open window we can enter. Surely not all doors are locked. Jesus. Isn't that dangerous? Probably. But if you are scared, I'll go. Isn't it better if someone with smaller feet goes? Veronica heard little of what went on above her, but must surely have panicked when after a short while the agonizing scream of Linda could be heard. 
<laughs> God rest his soul. Now Linda's dead. <gasps> Was that a person? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your friend. She fell and died. <laughs> That's funny as crap. <laughs> That's kind of messed up, but kind of funny. I'm killing it this time. Lucky. Keep the mouse oh, low. Poor girl. That was good. I have to get out of here. The next thing he'll force me out of the window. I mean, you told. To go. Go. Bill doesn't seem like that bad of a guy. Can I go out the window? It That's must funny. have been with nothing less than sheer force that Hannah, a well-loved prostitute of the local building, opened the door to Linda's chamber. <laughs> he, he followed up there with, with her dead. Nice talking. The woman's as crazy as that sister of hers. Yeah. We were looking for an escape. She seems crazy. Linda slept and fell. Yeah. How dare he speak about her like that? What's wrong with you, you? You can't. No. Not like that. You, you swine. Ronick's a moron. I really don't like this character. Shut up. Smack. Get your hands off her. Oh. Ah! You oh. broke my wrist. Holy crap. You broke my wrist. And not too strong. And I'll break more if you think you can arrest a woman like that. Screw you! I'm gonna find an exit. I didn't even blame Bill, and she blamed Bill anyways. Nice. This left the two women alone in the room. Veronica clearly wasn't comfortable and tried to leave the room. Hey, wait up, hon. You don't look so well. Are you okay? Anna clearly failed to reach out. A oh. little while later, Veronica took shelter in a chapel. Oh, and she okay. prayed for a rest of mind. Too afraid to leave. Or talk to anyone. Didn't I say I'm troubled last time? Uh, I should have done it again. I guess. Let's I don't know. At least Bell's alive let's again. Let's see. Maybe I want to do that minigame again. Case of Bill again. Yes. What does the evidence tell us? Are we missing something? So you can change the impacts and then use the side characters as it seems Let's to bring them back. Investigation. It all starts when Bill sees Veronica I need to skip streets. this. Skip. Well, witnesses describe him shouting violently as he... Evidence supports that he started beating Veronica when suddenly nice. all lights went out. No! Wait! Ah! What happened to the light? What the f the only thing you had escaped to skip. I found that out. Sound outside of the door. Heavy chain. Did someone just lock us in? Linda found it. What do you mean it's oh. locked? I'm Excuse getting me. the hell out of it. What in the name of Why don't you ask her? She brought us here. I just wanted to talk to her. She doesn't want to Seems say like some choices don't matter. I don't have time for this. Is there another exit? There are Much. no more exits than that door. Who else could there be in this building anyway? Only the. Hell no. Maybe. Abs well. Uh. If you give me my broom, I'll. I'll do it. I'll do it myself. Jeez. Whoop whoop. Although there were through the window, I can. Isn't that? Yes, it's dangerous. Probably, but if you are scared, I'll go. Right, this time I'm gonna win. Isn't it better if someone? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Fine by me, woman. You go. Why? Okay. Let's Here change I go, it. Then. What? We are sure this is where Bill pushed Linda out of the window, causing her to slip. <laughs> Holy what? shit! <gasps> Was that a person? Damn! I got away. Get there. Clumsy bitch probably slept. But no way, I'm going out there now. 
I wonder who screamed. Hopefully someone with a key. Damn, Bill. What? What? What happened? That woman friend of yours is dead. But... What? No! That's funny. How? D did you? No! Yeah, yeah, I pushed her. Now stop whimpering, or you'll be the next one to go out. <laughs> Ronick's crackhead and she's super annoying. I hate her. It didn't let me do the thing this time. Hmm. Wonder how I messed that up. Maybe if I didn't threaten her from the start. I guess. I don't know. It must have been with nothing less than sheer force that Hannah, a well-loved prostitute of the local building, opened the door to Linda's chambers. My God, are you all right? Where's Linda? I'm fine. <laughs> he, he followed up there with with her dead. <sighs> More false accusations. I should have stayed in bed this morning. Yeah, the woman's as though. crazy as that sister of hers. We were looking for an escape. Linda slipped and fell. Hmm. <laughs> you, you can't. No, not like that. You, you swine. Ignore her. I ain't trying to get my wrist broken. My God, that woman annoys me. Maybe Me if too. I don't pay her any attention, she'll calm down somewhat. <laughs> we... We have to get out and find out what's going on. Best idea I've heard so far! Out of my way. I'm walking out of this joint. This is where Bill left the scene. Okay, let's see what let's I can do. The From the top. Uh, apparently I did hers ah, wrong yes. again. The case of... Ah, yes. Ironic. Let's I'm gonna have to replay this again more. just to do this without her dying. Maybe there God. Was something we misinterpreted. Uh, I'm sure. Veronica was on the street. No, please don't. The lights. So that's probably the easiest way to do it. Just bringing it down and then moving it. We've talked enough about... Ugh. We found the ladder had been let down with a broom. This is when Bill and Linda made their fateful trip upstairs. I can see a ledge. If we can get across, there's bound to be another open window we can enter. Surely not all doors are locked. Isn't that dangerous? Probably. But if you are scared, I'll go. Ah! Uh oh. Our Linda overpowered Bill. Bill again. We do not know, but we trust that what happened surely God happened. God dang it. God dang it. Now Bill's dead again and she's back. My God. Some... He... I knew him. I mean... What on earth? We were... And... I went. I'll go. God. This left the two. Hey, what? Well. Am I? Evidence supports the theme. Oh, wait. I'm back in this. Kinda. All the exits are blocked, but when I came through, I heard someone calling <sighs> for help. I think it came out of the closet, but I can't get these crates out of the way. Maybe it's just best to wait until help arrives? Help, however, did not come. At all. At all. Let's review the evidence. From the top. Ah, yes. The gate. Ah, yes. Her I, I need to make it where Bill doesn't die. Is that? No. Please don't. The lights. Alright. I gotta make it where Bill doesn't die. I need her to die. And then... I need to... No! Air! I hate Veronica. I, I smell insults. They'll keep me from fainting. Oh, We've talked enough of... better. Ah. We found the ladder had been led... I can see it. 
drop. Isn't it? Veronica. <gasps> I'm so. That's a neat game. That's kind of frustrating that you gotta do it a specific way, but it makes sense. I can't breathe. Stop. Say. Oh my god. God no! I'm going to die. Oh, yeah, you're gonna die. Poor yeah. girl. I have to get out of here. The next thing he'll force me out of the window. Go. It I need to go. Go. The woman's just. Oh. <laughs> The landlord. We need to find. This left the two women. Well, me and Bill have a history. My name is Veronica. <sighs> okay. And my name is Hannah. What happened between you two? You can tell me, Anne. Evidence supports the theory that they stayed in the room a little while longer. We do not know the words that Hannah used, but we do know that what was said bonded the women together and acted upon their mutual respect for one another. That's what we needed. Now Bill should be able to move the crates, I would assume. Hopefully. It's all locked, but I heard something here. Maybe the guy who did this hid in the broom closet. The coward. Let's get these crates out of the way and get some straight answers. Hi, Bill. While we're doing it, it's a miracle. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm playing this bill now. On, put some back <sighs> into it. Damn it. Don't you tell me to put my back <sighs> into it. Damn it. What am I supposed to be doing here? <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> Damn it. What do you want from me, dude? It's not giving me the... I don't understand. How do I move it? Like that? Well then I'll just push this this way and I'm good. Yeah? And now... Oh wait, I just blocked it. Nice. Good job, me. Wow. Can I push this over there? Um better? I don't think that works, actually. But we'll see. Uh, Is that all the way up against the wall? Damn it. Oh, that'll work. Uh, back. Uh. Oh, it's trap door. Interesting. When they opened the door, an unconscious man, dressed in fine clothing, came into view. That's not the landlord. I don't know this man. Me neither. Why is he down here then? All banged up. He looks hurt. Help me get him out of there. He's not waking up. <laughs> He's here, dead. Maybe this will help. <gasps> Monks. The man. What's going on? It's archaeologist. Hell if I know. So you best start talking. Give the man some rest, Bill. He looks just as confused as we do. <sighs> this woman. Please tell, good sir. Who are you? Yes. Yes, that makes sense. It would explain the locations of all the key players. Hmm. But this man. Let's see what the evidence tells us about this Daniel. Daniel? He's an archaeologist. Let's review the evidence. From the top. And here we have Daniel. He came from an old family, rich parents. Apparently they had a great connection with him because they paid for his study in history oh, as well psychic. as some of his more peculiar hobbies. Nice. It seems he actually made some money of his own as a soothsayer. 
the soothsayer. I believe that his reason of being in the Blood Street was because of his interest in history. But how he ended up in the closet. Who knows? Of course. Let's see, what do we know about him? What's going on? Oh. Hell, if I know. You better start talking, man. Give the man some rest, Bill. He looks just as confused as we do. Back <sighs> off, Bill. He didn't put himself in the cupboard. Can't you see someone attacked him? Please tell, good sir. Who are you? My name is Daniel. I'm not exactly sure how I ended up in this broom closet. Nice. I was chased by, by a vision. It was far too strong for me. I'm a psychic, you must see. <laughs> a psychic? You're kidding me, right? Nope. Always have been. You know, it's quite common, but most people don't like to talk about it openly. Take this place for an instance. Full of bad history. You probably can sense some of it too, can't you? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling really bad right now. I've always embraced my gift to see the past. That's what drew me to the street in the first place. My goodness. You know, with the old monastery and its fabled torture chambers that rest beneath our feet. T tor torture chambers? Sub ironic. Yeah, I know. Sounds horrifying. I was curious to see if I could sense something. And I never expected to overpower me, so this house something terrible happened here. Our ghosts and they are so angry, so hurt. They are here. Watching us. Ugh. Can you believe this load of crap? Shush, let him speak. I've had this itch between my shoulders ever since what happened to Linda. Oh, Admit it, she's got the itch. Is wrong. Very wrong. We need to get out of here. Quickly. There. That hatch. There is something we need below it. I can feel it. A vision? The ghosts? Follow me. I can offer you some protection. Get us out of here safely. Oh, goodness. The psychic. This is where Daniel probably took out his pocket watch and swung it about dramatically, putting on quite the show. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, look, there's actual ghost people. Interesting. <sighs> My head. I can't move. Oh, my. I saw over 400 years back into the past. The monks, once they were peaceful, but now forced to torture in the name of good. But no. Yes, they spoke about an, an old escape tunnel, an exit, a key. I saw it. He, he held it. Hmm. Where did he put it? Is it still here? It was an open grave. Yes, 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 yes. You, that gravestone. We must lift it. Wait, what? First you're in a broom closet, then you wave a watch around and some mumbo jumbo, and then you go all crazy on me? We lift it? Yes, you we. You lift it. No, please, trust me. The key is there. I just know it is. We can use the key to get out of here. I'll get us out. Please, it's there, I know it. Bah! Crazy people, fucking crazy wacko, fucking on my shit. <laughs> Jesus, Bill, <sighs> language. There you go. But I ain't touching no dead people. Looks like a Ouija board. A newspaper. Full set? Yeah, I don't care. I can't. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> that's, that's a ridiculous amount of reading. Let's see if there's anything before we move on. I don't even know. I don't even see the key that he was looking, talking about. The key. It's not here. It's. It's not here. Whoa. Are you sure? Okay, that's it. I've had enough of this shit. I'll bust my way out, idiots. 
I'm sorry. I was just so sure. Which is where our investigation gets fuzzy. Hmm. This still does not explain how they ended up with the basement key. Let's review the evidence from the top. No. Let's review the evidence from the top. <laughs> the monks. <laughs> Or what is this mysterious character? Research shows that there is indeed a convent of monks at Blood Street 13 during the 15th century. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Uh, senor, I have a question about the escape tunnel you wanted in the lower section. I need to know if you want to run north to the harbor or to the south, to the fields. We need a decision before we can proceed. The harbor to the fields. Build it towards the south. That seems better. Ah, perfect, perfect. It will be done. The passageway is nearly finished. I was just handed the keys to the door. Here it is. Okay. What do you want me to do about it? interact with this. For Brother Johansson, you'll be remembered well. <laughs> Nonsense. He was a disgrace to our order. If he was half the man you are, he would have done as he was told. Brother, please. Has he not been punished enough for his misconduct? Brother, please. Perhaps he was set too much in the old and peaceful ways. But that is no reason to dishonor the man, so... Ah. The old ways have permitted heresy and witchcraft to grow among us like a cancer. The way of Duke Elva with iron and fire is the only way. Ways come and go, and so will that of the Iron Duke. I fear for our order when his ways are long gone, and with what it will leave us with. Come, let us pray for Brother Johansson's good passing. I just said that, I thought. Must kill. Uh -oh. Must avenge. Must kill. Blood. 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 And must kill them. Avenge them. They must pay. They must pay. Die. They must die. I want blood. I want Watch blood. out behind you. I want to see blood. Heretics. Heathens. And all. You can't hear this dude mumbling at you. Let's not kill them, Monk. It me. seems the victim was pushed down the well. As to why, we do not know. Ah. It's a shame no one could identify the assailant, but I intend to find out. Okay. Let's review the evidence. From the top. And here we have Dan. Let's see what I guess do that was we know the right answer. Him. Well, we know the key should be down What's there now. What's going on? Give them back. I'm not doing this again. Sorry. <laughs> Not going through that again. This is where Daniel. Oh, wait. No. Bah. There it is. Wow. I put the key there in the past, and now it's here. This, this is probably where Daniel told Hannah the key was on the landlord's desk in his office. I hypothesize she went back to this point to retrieve it. Hmm. Ew, that guy's been there for quite a while. But look, a key. How on earth did you know? I just knew it. I thought I saw the monk put it here. My vision. Now let's find <sighs> the door that matches this key. Okay. We passed a very old looking door in the hallway on our way here. Thanks, Veronica. Seems to fit. What is that face? I feel. I feel something. Something bad. Something really bad. And when Daniel opened the door to the catacombs, a cold wind chilled their bones. 
The landlord. Down the body of the landlord lay. <laughs> feeling that an assailant was amongst them. No. No. No, I still got it all wrong. Why did they unearth the grave? Why was the power failing? How did the people on the other side of the building fit in? And who attacked the land? Into chapter one. So many arcs are still unsolved. So many branches still unexplored. But I have come this far. I have to go back to the drawing table. Maybe even revisit the scene. Yes, yes. I won't lose any more sleep over this damned file on my desk. Once more, from the top. Wow, I knew it was in chapter one. You have just complete. Oh, thanks, man. Jolly well done. All right, that was interesting. I want to do that. I want to do that mini game with the dude again, though. I want to do that again before I end this let's play. It's a pretty good game. I'd probably give it a seven out of ten because it's doing it in chapters, which really sucks. Definitely when it's a game like this, because this is one of those games I'd like to play through all at once. Oh, I can't even continue. Hmm. I don't have a choice. All right. I hate when they do stuff in chapters, though. Uh, I can't skip this part. I just want to do the part where the dude's on the outside. I don't know how you're supposed to do that, but I want to do it. See if it changes anything. But yeah, this it seems like interesting. Fight. Depending on the story. Oh, so this is where the psychic was. Help! Okay. That's interesting. Skip. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the Oberdin, though. Where you have to play through, like, past scenes and stuff. What's happened? What the fuck? The only thing they did. Linda. What? I'm getting. Why don't. Ah. Never. Who else? I wonder if I go out there and die. I'll get the broom! Gosh, shush. <laughs> Although there were no signs of struggle in the room, through the window I isn't that probably. But if you are scared, right, let's do this I'll again. Go. All right, here we go. Whoa. I guess I'll just hold the S key. That's easy enough. Slippery. Whoa. Whoa, Nessie. Okay. Fuck. I'm not even halfway. Uh. Hey, you just hold the S key. If anybody's curious on how to do this whoa, part. Whoa there. No, no, no. It looked like it wanted you to press the W and the S key. Oh, well, this is intense, like camping. Uh, his foot's getting closer and closer. It's trying to kill me. Not uh, today, son. Sonny Buck. I got this S key held down. Oh, man. Oh, you die anyways. Okay. Oh, Linda overpowered Bill. We do not know, but we okay. trusted what happened. Surely happened in self-defense. Poor girl. Let's review the evidence. All right, guys. So that's uh, the first chapter of the Tales of Something Something. Let me look it up. The True Tales of Blood Street 13. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for all the support you guys have given me. I really appreciate you guys watching the videos and whatnot. Bye!